Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on what time of day That's you're right. watching this video, because we have no idea. I'm Jason Steger, this is Dr. Patrick Flynn, and we want to welcome all you overly stressed out people that are living in this world and miserable because of your stress, and maybe even sick because of your stress, because that is what stress will do. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll wreck your hormones, it'll blow out your adrenal glands, mm -hmm. it'll do things to your body that you are not aware of in the beginning until all of a sudden you got some mega effects going on in your mm -hmm. lives, things are falling apart, your hormones are just being jacked up to the max. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us, please, oh. have mercy on me. That's right. And these folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually by far the thing that makes us the sickest, okay? Because it can throw off everything from a male to female hormones. Mm -hmm. It can throw off a cyclic rhythm of hormones. It can affect, it can progressively cause more disease. And what happens is, and how it affects us so much is because it will drain a lot of our hormone pathways that we have. We gotta go back to that Swiss watch principle, mm -hmm. okay? Where if we look at our body like a Swiss watch, we're a bunch of gears put together and they all interact with each other. So when a person's under high stress, what it will do now, it will affect other systems. Mm -hmm. To give you an idea, I'll give you a really simple analogy with really more of a physical stress to a woman's body than even more of a mental stress. You ever see like gymnasts um, that are come through, they, they're gymnasts since they're little girls, they will actually delay the development of their female cycle because they push their body so hard that it will deplete hormones through their adrenals mm -hmm. and take away from their female cycle, yep. okay? Yep. Happens a lot. You know women that are actually just on the regular aspect of mental stress can either delay yep. or even skip a period for a month, yep. okay? Yep. Now, of course, that sets up a whole bunch of hormonal balances. A whole bunch of uh, stress hormones are extremely high, and it can make a person very sick. Yep. So yeah, yep. it's, a, it's a good topic. Um, you were talking a little bit about the adrenal gland mm -hmm. and the, the effects. I know that... Um, from personal experience, you've been helping my wife out mm -hmm. with uh, just some proactive supplements and mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. that. What are the effects, what, what's the importance of your adrenal gland in keeping it healthy and strong? Well, yeah, it's one aspect I think that females miss the most, is the adrenals have a huge effect on their female hormones. So if they do go through a mental or physical stress, it's gonna throw that off. Now we talked on a video before about uh, how if hormones get either high or low, it can affect them physical or psychological. Mm -hmm. Well, for example, what happens is, and, I'll, and I'll put, we'll put up a graph right now, and we'll show you, for example, as you can see on top of the graph, um, cholesterol is what all hormones are made from. Yeah. Then as you can see, it drops down to what's called pregnenolone. Don't need to know that, just understand if you look, it branches off into two pathways. Okay. Uh, the one that you see on your left looking at the computer, actually you'll see it where it says DHA and a bunch of hormones, and then also you go to the right, you'll see progesterone goes on to cortisol. Mm -hmm. Well, what that really shows you, if you look, that's really two pathways. The one on the left is the female hormones, the one on the right is actually a stress pathway, but if you kind of look, progesterone is actually used in both pathways, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're, you need progesterone for a female cycle, but then you also need progesterone for your stress pathway. Mm -hmm. Your adrenals use that to produce its hormone. Okay. So when you're under stress, boom, progesterone <clears throat> levels are used up like crazy. Well, imagine that you're trying to have a cycle to balance it out normally between estrogen and progesterone when progesterone is being decreased by stress. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it can cause so many things as far as endometriosis, mm -hmm. it can cause psychological issues. So it says that's why, for example, stress can affect the female hormones so significantly, which therefore you start throwing the female hormones off, that's where you start getting the pathway of sickness. Now, I'm not a doctor, but mm -hmm. I just play one on TV. <laughs> no, I just hang out with one. But you were talking uh, earlier about the, the what makes up your um, your hormones, your your adrenal, or um, what was it? Your oh, the organs. The or yeah, you, yes. it's the adrenal gland, the ovaries, ovaries and the uterus. uterus. Yes. Yeah. W tell me some myths and truths about that. Yeah. Well, a lot of women, like we talked about, don't even know where their female hormones come from. So when they get tested for their female hormones, which I said is very important, they test them and they'll look and they'll sometimes they'll even be normal, mm -hmm. okay, or they'll be high or low. Mm -hmm. So they'll look just specifically at those systems mm -hmm. and they'll forget about the other systems that affect it. Mm -hmm. Adrenals are actually a very big system that affects not only our the female cycle or mm -hmm. male, male cycle because guys don't realize we don't go through a menstrual cycle but we still have a cyclic rhythm that we deal with every day. 
Okay. So that explains why sometimes I get Male menopause. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I feel like I have those weeks, yeah, that's honestly. Right. That's and right. don't tell me if any of you guys are out here watching this that you don't yeah, go through those things too and your wife goes, hey, what's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and then you try to blame it on them, right? That's right. That's right. right. We got to yeah. humble ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> the point being is the fact that there's so many integral parts of our body that work with our hormone levels. And stress by far is one of the, the things that make it throw off the most, you know? And remember, it can be either mental or physical stress. If you have a very physical job, it yeah. can affect you. If you have a very right. stressful life, it can affect you. And now what we gotta look at is how to build those up. Well, so I always make it very clear to ladies that well, once we wanna test their female hormone levels, we also wanna test their adrenal levels, okay? okay? Because not only can it affect your, your female hormone levels we talked about, it can also affect your thyroid. One very key point to all thyroid activity is the effect of your adrenals. If you even go on the PDR, which is the physician drug reference, for any contraindication for any use of thyroid medications is a, called adrenal insufficiency. Mm -hmm. So like I have all you questions to everyone out there using a thyroid medication. Has your adrenals been tested for proper function right. before you took that medication? Right. Your doctor is supposed to test you for that. Yet, that's one organ that they know very little about. The very little about is about the adrenals. The adrenals. Yeah, and not as far as science, we know a ton about it, but as far as like, what are they gonna do with you? They'll give you some hydrocortisol, okay, which once again, is gonna make your adrenals work worse, even though at first you're gonna feel a little better, okay? Oh, okay, so rather, so they're taking care of the, the symptom. feeling, the symptom of mm -hmm. it, rather than what is supposed to work properly in That's the right. first place. Yeah, it sounds, it <clears throat> sounds so simple, say, when you say work properly, 100% function, but you gotta remember, imagine this, Let's say that your adrenals only work at, let's say, 90%. Yeah. Now, we think 90% is pretty high. Right. But now, imagine your, your lungs that, that breathe in and out so many times, and that cuts down by 10%. Yeah. Imagine your heart that beats thousands of times per day right. comes down by 10%. Right. It's a huge deficiency in our body. Right. Okay? Right. And then we do, we've, we've created drugs to try to compensate for that. So, ladies, like I said, one thing that you really got to look at, number one, is your stress levels. If you don't, it's going to affect your female cycle. It's going to affect hormone levels at a very high level. Yeah. So, really, back to your Swiss watch principle, mm -hmm. you got to have everything working at 100%, right. which, I mean, we live in a fallen world and uh, lots of greasy foods mm -hmm. and temptations to eat bad, and none of us eat perfect, but, mm -hmm. but the key to... Uh, having a, a lifestyle of just taking good care of your body is so important sure. to have everything working right because once one thing fails, the other thing has to That's kick right. in and if you got stress in your life and all that kind of stuff. We always want to encourage you to ask questions. Uh, one of the things I believe in the most is, is that uh, you can't speak in anybody's life unless they trust you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the best way to gain trust is to get to know somebody. We hope that we're doing that mm -hmm. for you, that you can get to know us and to get to know Dr. Patrick Flynn and, and his messages uh, and understand where he's coming from. Uh, I know from personal experience, the things that we talk about, they all come from our hearts because we love you. Mm -hmm. We want to see you live a healthier, uh, godly lifestyle. And if you ever have any questions about anything, there is probably isn't a question that you'll ask that you haven't answered already, sure. especially coming from the, uh, the nutritional side of things. Uh, but we just want to tell you how much we are thankful that we are able to do this. And let us know at uh, Dr. Patrick Flynn. No, Patrick. At there's, Dr. there's several. Yeah, we have <laughs> one of the 20 emails. Just go to the wellnessway.info. You can check out the videos there. You can see other videos. You can send emails and that, and we will try to get back to you as soon as we can. And we want to remind you that if you send one, uh, one in and a topic, we use a topic, That's right. uh, let us know where you live. We'll send you a gift. And uh, if you want us to use your name, we can make you famous because there's millions watching these videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, there's, I don't know. Only a couple million. Only a couple million. <laughs> That's right. For Dr. Patrick Flynn, I'm Jason Steger. Thanks again for Thank watching. You. Have a good and godly day.